Um, let's see if I put it with my other part together. Let's see. Let's fit it in before I put it on my head. It should go like so. Look at that. This is a print of a Tesla charger thing that I've mentioned before, I believe. Um, the reason I'm doing that and not the big part of the helmet is um, I was running low on the white. I didn't know how low, but the white the helmet, the helmet would take like half of a whole dang stinking kilogram roll. So I was like, you know, I'm going to switch it to gray because I have some of that and it'll look all right in gray. And uh, to make sure bed leveling and all that is fine because I've moved around, let me do a small print. So this is a small print. It's at 80% right there, you see. I had to document this because this fascinated me. There was an issue with the print. So first of all, you see it's feeling here on the sides. Now, this is a bowl, so it's gonna keep adding on those layers and going up and up. Um, clearly on the top, it won't be smooth. Um, however, it's nothing that like something like wood fill can't fix. So I'm monitoring it, you know, it's printed so much already that I'm like, I don't want to completely restart it because it might be a, not a terrible fix. It seems to me that sometimes prints can fail and it's okay. Um, they can kind of remedy themselves, at least in, in the initial phases sometimes, it, maybe. All right, guys, man, this has been the up and down journey, 100% done. And here it is. I thought it was gonna fail. It didn't, those are just extra supports that were in the air, so lesson learned. Never just Kira. Be very, very detailed in checking it. I didn't see because I thought these holes were filled in because it's like all blue or yellowish looking in Kira on your screen. Um, uh, probably on the other side there will be. Just FYI, I, you know, I added supports here. This is useless, like completely. That's a waste of filament, don't do that. I did that. Oh, I know I did overkill. This on the side, also useless. I'm adding serious, like the whole bed is moving before this is even shaking any bit. If you've got anything under here, it's more than enough to keep it fine. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk. This essentially is a fail print, okay? I mean, this garbage, this beautiful thing. I mean, everything is perfect. And then awful garbage on the top. I mean, it's essentially failed. Yes, to say I'm a little disappointed, guys. Ah, uh, here it is, guys. Your boy's stubborn. I made it work. My first, I guess, first piece of Iron Man suit is complete. Now, uh, yeah, you saw the mess that it was, and I said, you know what? I can work with too much filament, and not too little, and start to sand this sucker. And I know it's not perfect, okay? He was proven I could save this print was my, you know, thought. And uh, it's actually, you know, pretty, pretty close. All right, guys, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be soldering these purse clasp magnets to here and the other side to the helmet and that using my spare um, rafts, I guess these were called, um, with the soldering iron. So let's, I'll show you guys the end product. Um, by the way, I did prime. I'm not showing off right now. I'll just, uh, or I didn't prime, excuse me. I sanded. Uh, I'll show the product and how I did that after this. And then I'll show you the primed product. The uh, end product's coming together. Uh, I got the helmet done. Sanded it like crazy to get it as smooth as I could. It's not perfect, but for a fresh print, it's fine. Um, it'll work. I also got, as you see, the magnets all... I know, I know, a messy job, but hey, <laughs> it works, and you don't see it when it's all together, so yeah, the magnets are in here, you just put it in like that, face mask on top, and bam. So I know I look like a doofus, but this thing is ridiculously strong with those magnets. I mean, I'm pulling all I want on it. I have to pull to the sides to clip it off, so it's a really nice way. Um, the helmet, I, I'm going to resize it. It looks, I mean, ginormous. But there's room if I want to add a servo, I guess. So it's pretty tight that way. Um, I could add padding and it'll be nice on me when I put it on and not bowling around and scratch my ears up. And then when we add the faceplate, like so, just snaps into place. 
and I mean it's it's near perfect looking. It's I'm I'm content. I'm pretty happy. This turned out very good for our first try. But yeah, and you could ease fairly easily. I can snap it off just like that. So yeah, that's how you do it.